Hey everybody, Home Slice Henry here, and in today's video, we are taking a look at some Ultra League battles. Yes, the Ultra League is back. It feels like it's been weeks and weeks and weeks of Great League, but the good news is it's finally gone and Ultra League is here. However, the bad news is that a lot of these Pokemon that we thought we were escaping after leaving the Great League came into Ultra League, and today's video is no exception. We are taking a look at XL Level 51 Altaria in the Ultra League. And this battler has paired it with a Berserker and a Venusaur in the Ultra League Premier Cup and goes on quite a nice run with this team. So let's hop into these battles and take a look. Picking up an absolutely terrible lead versus a Drifblim. Drifblim, of course, has access to Icy Wind, which is terrible for Altaria. Does an amazing catch of the Icy Wind onto the Berserker. As you can see, this is a standard ABB style team with the goal being to save swap Berserker to bait out their best fire type if they have it. And by bringing in a Shadow Machamp, it's looking like they don't necessarily have a good fire type. So Venusaur should be pretty safe in the back. Unfortunately, it has to come in and eat a rock slide here on Altaria, but Altaria can survive a rock slide and we'll be able to farm down and we'll now have a big energy lead over the Drifblim, which is actually very, very beneficial here. The Drifblim is of course going to be coming back in and it looks like he's building up to two sky attacks and decides to actually go for the Dragon Pulse right as they do get to the Icy Wind. Let's see if it lands. Oh, and it does. At this point, you just let this go and you give two shields to Venusaur. 100%, you just let this go. Venusaur comes in and it's an XL Politoed in the back. Venusaur does so well in this matchup. All you have to do is watch out for the Blizzard and you're in a really good spot. And this Politoed is farming up so much energy and he's just going straight for the Frenzy Plants, getting the shields out of the way. The Politoed is probably going to bait twice, but out of an abundance of caution, you have to double shield here. Ah, and it is a Weather Ball bait. That is definitely unfortunate. Ooh, sneaks a Vine Whip through. That's very nice. So, so long as he can under tap here, he should be at the Frenzy Plant and he is very nice under tap. This is going to be taking out the Politoed. And from here, this game should be over because the Drift Blim is energy dry and gets outpaced and Frenzy Plant is gonna be able to take it out. So a nice job there by Altaria taking care of the, the Shadow Machamp and that allowed Venusaur to completely close end game. All right, hopping into the next match here, picking up an amazing lead in a Venusaur. They're gonna save swap into Empoleon and countering with Berserker. Berserker, of course, does have close combat, which can hit Empoleon for super effective, but the downside, of course, being that close combat does lower its defense. So he's gonna be building up here all the way to two. Oh, and the Empoleon gets to a move. Unfortunately, a late switch means that he's gonna have to double shield. This is gonna to be tough. Going for the bait. If the opponent shields, this is a really good call, and they do. Okay, this is huge, and he should be able to outpace the two and go back-to-back -back on these close combats and win switch advantage. First close combat. Oh, and the opponent catches on the Venusaur. Really nice play by the opponent, and now he can come in with Altaria, and Altaria is in a really good spot. Altaria does have some stored energy, so he can go straight for the Sky Attack so he doesn't have to eat a Sludge Bomb. Sky Attack takes it out. Comes back in with the Empoleon, and this is honestly a pretty solid matchup for Altaria, especially with this health disparity, because Empoleon is forced to throw a Drill Peck, which is non-stab, so it's not gonna do a whole lot of damage. Another Drill Peck coming through. He may farm all the way up to two Sky Attacks, and then throw one to kill the Empoleon, which he does, and then he'll have one for whatever is in the back. Lands it, what comes in? Oh, a Gallade comes in. This Sky Attack won't take it out, but it'll do absolutely huge damage, and they stay in, they get some extra Dragon Breath damage, they're taken out, and at this point, just come in with the Venusaur. The Confusions do hit for super effective, but none of the charge moves outside of Synchronoise hurt, and he's able to snipe it with Berserker and take the win. So very nicely played in game two. Altaria picked up a really nice lead and he was able to maintain alignment from there. Toxicroak, another really solid lead. Sludge Bomb, of course, is going to hurt, but the counters do absolutely nothing. And as you can see, Dragon Breath is absolutely chunking Toxicroak. Even in the Ultra League, Toxicroak still not the bulkiest Pokemon. Oof, that Sludge Bomb did hurt though, to be honest, <laughs> the Sludge Bomb hurt. All right, Big Sky Attack does get the shield. Unfortunately, the Toxicroak can probably just bait here. So even though he's gonna shield, I'm expecting we're gonna see a Mud Bomb. We do very nice bait and they try and catch onto a Gengar. 
However, Gengar has to shield this anyway, so this ends up working out. They shield it up, and Berserker is a really nice counter to Gengar, and Shadow Claw and Foul Play absolutely decimate it. Have to respect the Shadow Ball, so shields it up. It's just a punch and can overfarm by two Shadow Claws, and then go straight for the Foul Play that will KO. Unfortunately, Toxicroak does a ton of damage here, but a close combat would take it out, so it forces them to empty their energy, which is absolutely huge. They go for the Mud Bomb that takes them out, and come straight into the Venusaur. Oh, and they have a Drift Blim in the back, and things are not looking great, to be honest. Able to go for the Frenzy Plant, and even though you're like, Home Slice, it's a flying type, why are you going, uh, why is he going for a Frenzy Plant? Frenzy Plant is actually the, um, the uh, more efficient move to go for there, and it is going to be the move you do want to go for rather than Sludge Bomb, since both are single resisted. Icy Wind comes through, that's tough, able to get to the Frenzy Plant here. It's debuffed, so it's not quite gonna KO. It's going to be very close. Oh, able to Vine Whip down and able to get to the Frenzy Plant versus Toxicro. I know this is an XL Altaria feature, but man, that Venusaur took over endgame. Let's go. Up and into the next match and picking up an amazing lead in Talonflame. And this is one area where XL Altaria does exceedingly well in the Ultra League Premier meta, is there are a ton of starters, of the elemental types of course as well as just a ton of elemental pokemon in general like talonflame and that dragon type has a ton of really useful resistances able to successfully call the flame charge bait which is very very helpful and now is probably going to shield up what is probably going to be a brave bird which it is very nice shield and trapped them in there so they are going to have to expend a shield or their talonflame goes down shield and they're going to switch into an empoleon and counter swaps into a Venusaur. Venusaur can take a Drill Peck, which is very nice. However, due to Empoleon Steel Typing, of course, Frenzy Plant is not gonna be enough to KO. So they are gonna go for a big Frenzy Plant here. And Frenzy Plant gets it low, and he's gonna be able to Vine Whip down, but he is gonna have to shield if he wants to maintain Switch Advantage. And Berserker definitely does not wanna see Talonflame, so a Switch Advantage is a must. He does have a Sludge Bomb loaded. Incinerate goes through from Talonflame. That's not what you wanna see. But they land the Sludge Bomb, and that does get it very low. They're at two here. So I believe they just have a Flame Charge, not a Brave Bird. So it comes in with Altaria. And it's a flame charge instead of a brave bird so very nice energy counting there what do they have in back a machamp oh sky attack is going to do a whole lot of damage here oh that does so much and at this point you basically just force them to throw even if it's just a cross chop and then berserker comes in and just shadow claws down for the win yep berserker able to close out the game strong so as you can see there, there they were able to catch the fire type up front and just by maintaining switch advantage, then they were in a good spot. Again, catching the fire type up front. This is where you want to see it if you see it. So, all right. Do they call the bait again? They shield it. Oh, and it's a brave bird. Really nice call. They have their own Altaria, although they have a fairly good response in Perserker. Perserker, of course, is going to resist all of Altaria's moves, but the downside being Perserker is pretty squishy. So even though it resisted the Dragon Breath really adds up. Sky Attack really doesn't have to worry about that. And now going for, ooh, unfortunately just can't get to the Foul Play. Can't let this go. We'll, we'll see if Altaria wants to go for Switch Advantage or if they're content with just Shield Advantage. All right, Foul Play comes through. It takes out the Altaria after one Shadow Claw. So it looks like they are content in having Shield Advantage. And honestly, Shield Advantage with Talonflame can be very powerful as well. Ooh, Machamp, this is this is not what you want to see by any means. You definitely have to go in Venusaur here because you don't want the Venusaur aligned with the Talonflame. Frenzy Plant comes through and the opponent switches into Talonflame. They have a ton of loaded energy on the Machamp. Going straight for the Sky Attack. Unfortunately, doesn't KO. XL Talonflame is so beefy. Incinerate goes through as they throw the second Sky Attack. They do shield it up. Talonflame shielded, they're definitely going for a Brave Bird, so he's a tough choice to make here. He is going to shield up the Brave Bird. I like this call, because this way the Machamp is gonna have to throw a Rock Slide right away to get rid of the Altaria, which they do. 
However, shields are down and a Machamp without shields is not going to do super well as Rock Slide is not going to kill here, but a Frenzy Plant will be enough to take out that Machamp. Rock Slide, yeah, that's just not enough and Frenzy Plant is going to clutch it out. So again, was able to catch the Fire type in the front and basically just ne needed to do what they did to preserve Switch Advantage to make sure that their Altaria stayed lined up on the Fire type. Altaria into, whoa, a Shadow, <laughs> okay, Th that's a hard one to say, a Shadow Shiny Scissor, boy, say that five times fast, <laughs> I am very surprised to see it in Ultra Premier, Scissor has a really unique place in the open Ultra meta, because it does exceedingly well against the two biggest meta monsters, which are Giratina and Grisalia, and it doesn't really have as good of a niche in the Ultra League Premier Cup. All right, able to bait out a Surfet, so no fire type. They do get the shield with the close combat, which is nice. Altaria is probably coming in, but you will have to watch out for the Brave Bird, of course, because Brave Bird with Surfet has been popularized quite a bit recently. All right, shielding it up. Oh, it's a Leaf Blade bait. You hate to see it. Going straight for the Sky Attack so they don't have to commit a second shield. I do really like that. And hopefully Venusaur should have a clear path to victory at this point. Oh, they have a Shadow Ampharos. Yeah, and this should basically be over. They catch the Frenzy Plant on Scissor. A very, very nice catch. But unfortunately, oof. Shadow Scissor is not tanky. Anytime you're a Bug Steel type that gets Vine Whipped down, yikes. They shield it up. Oh, and they shield the Dragon Pulse. So it was a Legacy Shadow Ampharos. Very cool. But unfortunately, this team was able to clutch it out and take the game. All right. Hopping into the next match here. Altaria into Empoleon. This is not the greatest lead ever. I'm interested to see how he does play it out because he does have two fairly good responses in the back. So I'm very curious to see whether he does decide to stay in or not. He's farming up quite a bit of energy and now going for the sky attack. This of course is resisted, but it's gonna be doing, you know, a solid chunk of damage to the Empoleon. And whoa, they bring out a Kingdra, now going for the Dragon Pulse. So this is probably the Empoleon double dragon team that has been very, very popular recently. I really like the play of coming into Venusaur here. This is a very, very good strategic decision. Speci oh, and he calls the Octazooka, that's huge. This is very good because at this point he has to read that, that there's a Dragonite in the back. Venusaur has very limited play against Dragonite, so you basically want to get rid of the Venusaur. And there is the Shadow Dragonite, so a very, very astute read there by Clapton Caveman, recognizing the fact that since there's a Shadow Dragonite, he, he needed to find some usefulness for his Venusaur. Coming in with Berserker. At this point, all charge moves are resisted. Gotta hope it's a Dragon Claw. It is a Dragon Claw. That is very, very nice. They have an Empoleon. Ooh, and Empoleon has quite a bit of energy. This, this could be a little rough, to be honest. All right, just going straight for the foul play, not wanting to lower their defense. Foul play does get it low. Ooh, able to Shadow Claw down, that's big. And then able to get to a foul play, and foul play is going to be doing a nice amount of damage. Shadow Dragonite is not very tanky. It does get it quite low, and able to Shadow Claw down and take the win. So a very nice showing there from Berserker. And honestly, as I'm watching this team, all three team members seem to be putting in a lot of work. So it's very cool to see a team that has very nice synergy where there's there's not really one Pokemon, you know, like carrying the load. Like all of them are, are doing a really good job. All right, we're running it back for game eight, another Empoleon lead. And this time it looks like they are staying in. So I'm very curious to see if he decides to stay in as well. Going for another Sky Attack, it looks like he is committed to staying into this matchup for the most part. So if there's any kind of fire in the back, this could get a little dicey. Ooh, shielding it up. I like this and maybe gonna try and commit to the farm down here. And the opponent switches into a Gallade. So the opponent saw what was happening, saw that they were gonna lose switch advantage and figured may as well aggressively switch in. Staying in with the Gallade. And now, ooh, this is tough. Do you come in? I think you have to come in Berserker, right? Yeah, you just have to be really careful of the close combat. Close combat will hurt a lot. It's a Leaf Blade, so one more confusion and catch. Ooh, very nicely done. Catches, catches the close combat. Absolutely fantastic. And now is in a really good spot where he can just Vine Whip down and he has a ton of energy for whatever decides to come in. 
and it's an opposing Venusaur. They try and catch the Sludge Bomb onto their Empoleon. He reads it, he's able to go for a Frenzy Plant, and he's gonna be going for the Sludge Bomb now on the Venusaur. Does get the Shield, of course, because Sludge Bomb would be doing more damage than a Foul Play, and able to force the opposing Venusaur to dump its energy, which is very, very nice. All right, Berserker comes in, and Berserker has a decent amount of energy, and they're going straight for the Foul Play. Foul Play, you know, does an okay amount of damage, but the nice thing is, is he can tank a Frenzy Plant, although, whew, he, he gets to a move, so he, so he didn't have to. That's very nice. Foul Play, able to take it out and take the win. So in conclusion, XL Altaria is a very, very cool pick and a very expensive pick at that for the Ultra League Premier Cup. It's very interesting. I, I feel that it performs fairly comparably to Dragonite with maybe just a little extra bulk that Dragonite doesn't have in exchange for not hitting quite, quite as hard but I do think that it has a solid place in the Ultra League Premier Cup meta. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're enjoying the content, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. The love on the channel has been absolutely insane lately. Like we just passed 7,250 subscribers and we were at 7,000 only a couple days ago. So thank you, thank you, thank you. It's absolutely insane. I appreciate y'all. And of course, a special thank you to our members. The support in the member program is absolutely insane. So thank you guys oh so very much. And until next time, I've been Home Slice Henry.